and welcome to today's tutorial on how to safeguard your attack troops when offline in Good Game Empire. This video tutorial will demonstrate a method for safeguarding your troops whenever you are offline from Good Game. It's important to note that attack troops like Two-Handed Sword, Heavy Crossbow have very little in the way of defensive strength and are therefore merely cannon fodder for the troops attacking your castle. Rather than leave those troops at your castle when you go offline, you'll be shown how to keep them safe and also productive by following just a few simple steps. The key to safeguarding is the bookmark function available at the top of your game in Good, no Good Game Empire. Bookmarked places. It's a little compass at the top. Now, as we mentioned, your attack troops are troops that you would normally attack robber barons with, etc. So, what we're looking is finding uh, how long you're going to be offline. So, if you're going to be offline for three hours, or six, or eight, or even twelve hours, the easiest way is to use your map cursor. As you can see, the distance from my main castle at the moment, as I move it, increases. If we then use our arrow keys on the keyboard, we can pretty much see that we'll be scrolling all the way, in this instance, to the right or to the left. And what we're looking for is most probably going to be a distance of um, 300 map clicks away. And that should give us a maximum time frame which could be anywhere between 10 and 12 hours. And it is just a case, or a very simple case, of going across, getting up to say 300, and then find an RBC, Robber Baron Castle, that is roughly that distance. You look at it and you go, oh, okay. When I click on the castle, there is an option, as you can see, to bookmark the place. Well, the first thing we want to do before we bookmark it is, if we want to attack that robber baron, how long will it take for troops from my main castle to get to the robber baron? Now this is a distance of 298 map clicks. So let's just go through the process of selecting, and in this instance, uh, we'll use our two-handed swords to attack the robber baron. And we'll have a look at the time it will take. And in this instance, we can see that without any coin whatsoever, it's going to take 21 hours to arrive at that destination. So if you're not going to be online for a day, 21 hours, that's a good choice. The second thing that you'll need to do is look at the cost of coin. And at the moment, it's not too expensive, 37 coin to go that distance. Now a robber baron is a good choice when you're first starting out. If you can find another player, or an inactive player that may be that distance, that can provide you with some greater rewards. It will take some time to upgrade the Baron robber baron uh, castle to a point where you can send a lot of attack troops. But if you do this on a daily basis, the robber baron will rank up and you can use multiple robber barons to do the same effect. Then eventually you can just send to the one robber baron. But we're going to look at it, we're sending the troops, we're not sending any tools or anything like that, but we'll look at that, attack it, 
send off our troops. With our commander and we've selected no coin, it's going to take 24 hours. Okay, so we're looking at the rubber baron, we've just had a look at attacking it and distance. We note that if we go down, select our attack troops, fill up all of the, the ranks with it and then we go to send it. It's roughly 23, uh, sorry, 23 hours by standard travel. It would be four hours or five hours by coin travel, or if you had to, Ruby, but we're not going to use Ruby and we shouldn't really even have to use coin. The idea and the concept is we've now got a distance and a time to a location. Now, if that was okay, we would then say, go off and attack it. But we're going to cancel, and all we're going to do is say, bookmark. So we now bookmark the place. It comes up with the map coordinates of where it is, but we can change, by clicking on the green section here, we can change the name. And so what we would do in this instance is click on the change name, and we're going to call it 21 hours and RBC. So 21 hours RBC will make it a hostile and click OK. So now if I went if I went back to my main castle and for some reason Let's just say I'm going to go and type in K9. I'll do the search. I go back to my main castle. Now, end of night, I don't want to leave my troops in the castle unprotected as far as attacking troops. So all I'm going to do is go up to the bookmark icon, the little compass, marked places, click on it, It'll now come up with the bookmark places and it says 21 hours RBC, jump to. Okay, I can now quickly jump to that RBC, launch my attack. If you do this for say 21 hours, do it for uh, 6 hours and maybe one for 3 hours. As the robber baron keeps ranking up, you will be able to send more and more troops. You can alternatively find an inactive player that is a similar distance and do the same thing for them. Bookmark them. The risk with doing that with an inactive player is that two things can sometimes happen. One, the player comes back into the game. Or two, you find that the inactive player, if it was an outpost, somebody may be trying to capture it and if they are in an alliance when you go to attack it they will lend support so your attacking troops generally get wiped out so although it takes a longer time for you to ramp up the level of the RBC the RBC generally as a rule provides coin resources and experience points and that would be a quick way to send your troops off to that to make sure that they can attack it. Now bearing in mind the timings will differ if you are using tools and the types of tools that you're using etc. But at least you now have a quick way of recording as a reference using the bookmark option distances to locations where you can quickly send your troops off at the end of the day when you're going offline so they are no longer in your castle when it is attacked. Hope you enjoyed the tip. Thank you.